as of first season, you know, had such a strong start in this game and is still following up pretty nicely, but wants to keep pushing it further. So let's see if we can do it today. Because I like, if Jen could win this entire tournament, that would like that would dispel wonders for his confidence as well as like bring his A game back. So we'll see if he can actually do it. He's gonna have to take out Dill first and then have to move on to mystery and double eliminate him. But you know Dill is also hungry for a win. Absolutely. And uh Dill no slouch in this matchup. All three of them, honestly, I it's difficult for me to place as to who I think will take it. Mystery, only because he has a set, he has no sets losses yet, so they have that, to win two sets. That is a very That's a logical argument. guess. That's a brain guess. That's a very strong argument in his favor, but we'll see. I think it'll depend heavily on how this match plays out, and right now it's looking pretty even. Both of them mostly feeling out the space, nothing too crazy coming out yet. Up smash on a shield is pretty close. Well, that was just a punish. Yeah. Like, you saw him go for the neutraler behind him, it was a free up smash. Mm -hmm. Might as well go for the most optimal damage. Now, now here we go, trying to play it patiently off stage with these uh, fuels. With the up air. Very nice. And right there, that was still trying to guess where Jen was going to warp to. You saw him drop that uh, gyro on the left side of the platform, because that's where a lot of Palutena's like to go for their warp cancels. Mm -hmm. Jen not falling for the bait. All right. Jen trying to guess high, doesn't get anything off of it. Nair out of shield. Pretty safe option to go for. You see all this ledge pressure coming out from Jen. You see him with like a throw, you know, fainting all these jumps in, going for the down tilt, the force out of a get up option immediately. Oh, combos off of the gyro hit. Manages to escape death on the side. Good setup. mash out from Jen. I think he was ready to eat it as soon as he got that grab. It's like, okay, let's start. Let's go. Manages to take the stock with an up air, lands back down on the stage. This is going to be a potential stock for him. No! Again, good mash out from Jen. What's more? Jen keeps away. Rob can dig as many holes as he likes, but Jen will not lie. That's fair. All right. That's back here. Yeah, he, if he gets kicked back to that grave, yeah. though, it's all up in the air. Just like this gyro that comes out, but it gets eaten up by the nair. He ate his double jump. That's okay. He's got a lot of fuel in the tank. Just to re get back on the stage to refuel that. Yep. Grab tech. Again, right. just go for the up smash out of shield, one of his safest punish, uh, one of the strongest punishes out of shield. Mm -hmm. Goes for uh, the uh, tornado after, which was a bit of a questionable decision. I'm not sure what he was looking for there. All right, down tilt backs off. Not too aggressively going for the stage here. Gets a conversion off the second hit of Nair. Oh! There's the call out I was talking about earlier. A this very time, strong call out. Because right there it becomes a mix up game, right? Because mm -hmm. Dill tried to get the last time, so. Jen was thinking, okay, he's going to mix up and try to do a different thing this time, so I'll do it this time to mix him up, and Till just went for the exact same option. This time even stronger. Up smash. Yep. So using, I believe... Oh, I, believe <laughs> yep. I believe that's Rob's up throw when he does the, the slam down. Yes. The jet back. So strong on this stage, uh, and that he can slam you down onto the platform, get the follow-up, uh, keep you up in the air for a juggle, and sit on stage. That's right. Very good option. That check's going to be a really good option for Palutena. Able to catch a lot of landings. Yep. See the air dodge off stage. Nair wants more out of shield. Chases and is not afraid of the laser follow-up. Hunger for this kill. Trying to space him out with the down tilt. I like it. Mm -hmm. Can't jump over that laser, unfortunately. Now Jen's Oops. looking for the back air. I see him holding onto that shield. Mm -hmm. Very hungry for the kill. Down tilt. We'll try, hope he's going to roll in. Hold on a sec. Uh, no, that's not going to be it. Rob's a bit of a heavy boy. Ooh. Oh, he traded with it. That was so smart. He had to trade for it. Does not matter. Falls right in front of him with the down oh. smash. For a second, I thought Dill was going to be able to survive that back throw. But alas, that's going to be Jen moving into this uh, game one, putting a point on the board in this race to two. Mm -hmm. uh, that was so smart. I don't even know what he hit him with. He just, I'm sure he put whatever. Man, I, it looked like a, I actually, I missed it. Hold on, it's right here. Yes. So whatever, Forward? that fair. Yeah, four. Fair is probably his fastest option there. And that was such a smart call because trading with that is ideal. Yes. Because it's a multi-hit and trading for, what, half a percent on one percent? As long as you don't get hit by the final hit of Nair, you won't have that knockback that'll kill. Yes. It's a shame but that. he still died. It looked like he wanted to drift away, but Jen was ready with the punish in that, um, he shield grabbed, run away after that. Mm -hmm. So there was no moving away from that. Unfortunate, but wow. smart calls for both players. Oh. Very yeah. present as far as mindfulness goes with that. And now Dill's going to be taking him back to Pokemon Stadium 2. Two one, go. Here we go. All right. 
big open stage again. You know, very strong option for Rob to be able to camp him out, as well as, like, even though Palutena does get warp cancels out of this, like, Dill's been doing a heck of a job calling him out. Absolutely. Um, and the thing is, is that even without warp cancels, uh, Palutena's uppie is still kind of hard for punish for a lot of characters, and Rob is not the fastest, despite the fact that his offense can be quite smothering at times. So I'd like to see Jen mix it up a little bit more with that, because he has been going for the cancels pretty consistently. The triple forward oh. air. You see him fast falling all these aerial attacks. Mm -hmm. He went oh. deep, baits out the air dodge, but doesn't get the punish for it. Good fade away with that neutral air. Avoids the get up attack. Oh my god, he spot dodged that. The, the empty, the full empty hop into land down grab. Dill saw it coming. Yep. Dill, Dill spot dodged a tomahawk, which is like huge super brain. Can we point out also, Big Brain, that he reflected that, saw that he was caught in the reflector, and then back aired him? Yes, sir. So you gotta do, you know, you abuse your range, you abuse your disjoints, you're Rob, you got fire, work with it. <laughs> Point blank, that's on a lasers, hefty amount of damage. Lasers coming out of your eyes, you gotta shoot them. Looking like Cyclops from the X Men out here. Yep. Hold up, Nair. Now, we're seeing a lot of, uh, oh, okay. Good call with the gyro, takes his jump. How did that trade from below him? Oh my god. Okay, so trading gyro from below with the up air. Good call for him. All right, spacing out. Jen's playing cautious. He is playing cautious. It's a good thing to do, though. He's playing around Dill's shield, too. It's honestly, Dill's at such a high percent with rage that getting caught in one errant setup could spell death, and Back you air. don't want. Oh. All right, that was the longest I've ever seen somebody wait for him. Yeah, Dill was chilling there for a second. That's because Jen was so hyper-focused on trying to get the punish right afterwards. I thought for sure he was going to go for a back air, which would have worked in that situation, but he opted to go for a dash attack because I think he got wait, sick of waiting, so he tried to like catch him on the ledge real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, 89. Right. Probably could have gotten a conversion off of that Nair, but didn't, didn't, recognize really, it. didn't really have the time to hit confirm off of it, no. Uh, goes for the shield. Yo, Ooh, drag, drag down, down. Reset off the platform. Palu's got them drag downs. Looking like Joker. Looking cool, Palu. All right. Oh, I want to. I want to talk. I want to talk intelligent decisions right here. Single hit down tilt on his shield. Uh, Jen puts out forward tilt to catch the spot dodge. Uh, whoa! Even with good di. I mean, up Man's smash. Dude. Rob hits like a truck. His father was part truck, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, not the best trade when you're behind like this, but anything to help secure the kill and keep Rob off stage. That's unfortunate. Okay. Dill is oh, going ham. No, he got the no, kill. He no. killed him. He is dead. No. He is gone. He was at 40. He is deleted. That didn't actually. No, I know that kills early. Off I of a 26% grab off stage. 38%. He was at 38% off of that neutral air and got a kill. I cannot believe. I love Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for the Nintendo Switch Entertainment System. I love this game. Oh, I love that, that kill. I love Hold when on. I see stuff uh, like that. No, That's I, my favorite. I, I, have to, I have to see that. Was that DI? There, he must have, like... I don't think you understand how strong Arm Rotor is. No, honestly. no, that was Sus DI. That was Sus DI. He DI'd away. I think. Hold on, I'm looking, I'm looking at the replay right now. So the blue angle is away. He was DIing. Oh. He was okay. Okay. I I was gonna say there was no way that should have naturally killed at that percent. Anywho, <laughs> back to Pokemon Stadium to the salty run back from Jen. Mm -hmm. Uh, both players very comfortable at this stage. Oh, catches him out with his own there. Nice. And you know, um, Dill has a lot of momentum. Yes. For that previous game, because he like blew the heck up. That's definitely something that you want to breather with between rounds to refocus. Uh, no matter how good and composed you are, situations like that can take All right. Takes the jump out. Yep, very difficult to get out of that situation, especially when you're low to the ground. Most he could have done is put out a hitbox and try to beat it. There we go. Trades on. Forward air gets himself back onto the stage and then gets get up attack off. So trying right. to go for the counter again on that gyro. 
See, and Dill's playing super patient to get off this ledge, too. A lot of people get very desperate, like, when they're at ledge, like, okay, let me get center stage. I gotta get back here. Dill will neutral get up, down tilt, play back off stage, and just wait. You know, he's gotta earn his way back onto the stage. Understandably so, because too aggressive of an approach can end up like that. He spent half of that stock at the ledge. It can be tough. Trying to get back to center stage. And now we got Jen again, bringing him back down, connecting neutral after neutral error. This combo don't stop. We got the platform assist. That's why Dill opted to go for the LB immediately just to try to escape any sort of follow-ups. Yep, so he caught the N train, took a transfer over to the U train, nearly brought him to the blast zone, but he missed his stop, came back to center stage. Thank God. Uh, screw that MTA, dude. I don't I need Rob telling me what to do. Okay, trying to go up there and apply some pressure with those up tilts against his shield. Rob's doing his best. He can't help the delays, man. Yeah, dude. So, good job there. He's mostly just trying to space him out in neutral here. He doesn't want to get pushed to the ledge, but Jen keeps finding him there. Trying to find this edge guard. Really hungry. Back airs. That was a smart roll in the right call, and it's still hit. This is difficult. Pokes him up. That could have been a free back air. All right, now the shield. Smart call. Explosive flame, like, missing by a hair's breadth there. I'm talking, like, one carbon fiber away from taking Rob away. So far, oh. so good. Going so deep for these neutral airs. Catches it. And he's still living. He's still living. <laughs> he's still surviving. He's still keeping it up. He's not going back for the factory just yet. You can't put this robot on reset. No, nah, man. I don't, right. want a I don't want a factory default rob. I want a one that gets neutral air. Never mind. <laughs> Pelotan coming in strong. 98% on two stocks. He yep. is hugging for that down tilt. Because if he manages to connect that, he gets some... Nasty confirms off of it. Nasty confirms that even if he doesn't, it's good for tick setups and pressure. It's very difficult to punish on reaction. All right. Well, speaking of pressure, he's the one getting it. Hold on. Yep. That was a really good job getting off the ledge. That's the cleanest he's gotten off of this ledge all game. All right. His turn to apply a little bit of pressure here over at the edge of the stage, but gives up neutral very quick. Right, and we're back in a familiar place. Has a gyro on the field, converts off of it. 157%, 162. Okay, regardless, sitting, deadly, bleeding, out. Now look out for this grab, because that's something that's going to be on Dill's mind. Is either going for a grab, or like a really quick forward air or back air. At this point, the, the baby is tiny hit. will kill. Absolutely. Um, and Jen, you can see, just trying to squeeze out percentage here. Even if that up air would have barely gotten him back on the stage. Um, he just wants that percent. Oh, that is hella dead. Didn't even need the platform. I mean, nope. that higher percent. Here we go, final stocks for both players. Dill bleeding still. Mm -hmm. Finds his way back over to the corner. Interesting choice, but again, comfortable that. That Why? was greedy, but we're still living. Okay. It seems like a little bit of a crack there in the uh, consistency with Dill, but he's still alive, still kicking. Very scary place to be. Rolls back and gets center stage. Wait, this could be the momentum oh. shift he needs, 52%. It could be. Stray hits could end his life here, though. He's got to be very careful. He's going to throw that gyro down to buy him some time. Oh, no, he has the gyro. This is looking bad. All right, breaks the gyro. Oh, my God, he's sliding Gets back to stage. That was so smart. Again, deal with this presence of mind to know what he's being put in these checkmate scenarios, and he gets out of them. Now Dill's care. bringing it back. He's already got about 94%. Looking to grab, try to finish this off. If Jen managed to get a back throw, no! that good kill. Gets the up throw, no, not no, enough to get no, the no, kill just it. yet. Dill looking to try to finish this off. Looking for a back air off the stage. Applying Ooh, pressure with the down tilt. Gets the neutral air. Yes. Calls it the jump out of shield. Finishes off the set. Defeats Dill. Moves on to grand finals to face off against the Mr. E's Lucina, where he's going to have to take off two sets. Two. That was high pressure. And you can't blame Dill in that position for the wanting jump. to spot dodge. Yeah, or yeah, yeah spot dodge too. Like, uh, yeah. It was, it's difficult at that, right? So he's basically in a punish situation. He's like, okay, mm. I'm gonna eat an immediate punish. It's a mix-up. It's a mix-up he basically is a, a guess to make. Yeah. It was for his life and he gets wrong. All right, so guys, before we 